Now we're gonna create a new virtual machine. Just follow my steps. Other, you don't follow some, but D, and I select always the folder D. I'm gonna name it Windows XP. There we go. It automatically recognizes that Windows XP 32-bit. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave at 192 megabytes of memory. Next, create next next and I'm, I'm gonna put 16 gigs of for the hard drive you can minimum put for example I don't know four but it's not recommended well you know what I'm gonna create 16 gigs you can create minimum four we'll start the machine and we'll ask you for the ISO here you, do, you browse for the ISO Windows XP and here's my Windows XP professional ISO you just open it my product key is right there and then click on start the machine stretch mode there we go And directly directed to here because it's it's a non product key version I think because like the other operating system systems you could press enter F8 and you could get to here so now we are in the um, partition space I'm gonna create a 8 gig partition I'm gonna split the hard drive in half so it, instead of D, it's E because the CD is the D drive, which is something I don't like. But you get the C, the C drive, enter, and there is the NTFS Quick option. So you can select NTFS or NTFS Quick, but you can also select Fat Fat Quick. But I recommend you to put NTFS. So we're gonna do NTFS Quick and press enter. That's a quick format. <music> your software name it didn't ask for the language or whatever but you know what and and the keyboard is in English no not tells T A W S 2001 and yet this is a non product key version and I want I don't want to name computer one I want to name it Windows no not Zindos Windows XP Pro and I, want, I don't want to create a password now. I'm going to put it to Paris since I live in Europe. Next. <laughs>
Okay. Improve the appearance of visual visual elements. Windows will now automatically adjust your screen resolution. Okay. And if you can, if you can read this, if you can see this, click OK. See the cursor is not moving, but there we go. Okay, so there's the w lovely Windows XP animation. The splash screen. All right. So now you just click next, and you can do one of those. I'm gonna click have protect. I'm gonna do automatic. Next. Checking and connecting it every day. If you're not connecting, you can you can skip. But I'm gonna. I want to connect with this, so I'm gonna keep it. Yes, this computer will connect through a local area or a home network. So next, uh, register. No. I'm gonna type my name. There we go. Next, and then finish, and you're ready to go to the desktop. Welcome. <sighs> I love hearing that sound. But there, the sound was a little glitch in the beginning. I don't know why. Tell me in the comments if I have a good American English accent. Tell me in the comments. Give a mark out of 10. Or out of 20 if you want. All right, and we here we have the lovely bliss. I remember using Windows XP on my oldest computer. I'm gonna move this here. Okay, so we are now on the desktop. Show on desktop. And also I want this to show on the desktop and there's my YouTube channel name so if you go to properties and this is service pack 3 right there no I don't care okay no I don't care that so we're gonna install the VirtualBox guest editions next next uh, it's not running in safe mode. You know what? I'm gonna cancel it. I want the direct 3D install. So I'm gonna go to start, turn off, and restart. Start my computer. Right, so I'm gonna remain this. No, not Windows. <laughs> Windows. The O is missing. There we go. And this is not formatted, so I'm gonna format this. 4096 quick, enable storage. There we go. Start, okay. Not to apply. Format complete. Okay, close. Next, next. I want to check that. I want to check that. Install. And it's installed. So I will disable the stretch image mode. And go to normal mode in full screen. There we go. I'm now in full screen. Reboot now. And after the boot, it should be full screen because I installed the drivers for that. The VirtualBox guest editions. And hopefully this should be full screen. There we go. 
There we go. But the bubble in sound interrupted the startup sound. I don't care. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like Windows XP because it's my favorite operating system and it's it's the most popular Windows. Until um, no, it's the po most popular Windows because it was used for millions of computers. And if you if my Windows tutorials help you, please help me by liking and subscribing. Goodbye, everyone.